Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do this. And what is this, you might ask? This is a title with a slow zooming background. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So let me open up iMovie here and I'll just give you an idea of what the project looks like. I have a background here. I have a standard title. And then I have a fade out transition. So let me go ahead and start a new project and show you how I built this. Here we go. Go to projects, go to new, go to movie. I'm going to drag this image down into the timeline. This is just an image, no video whatsoever. Let me go ahead and close up the timeline here just a little bit. I'm going to extend it out for about uh, 10 seconds or so. So it's not moving whatsoever. We're going to click on it to highlight it. We're going to go to our cropping tool. We're going to click on that. Next, go to Ken Burns. And what we have here is a start and an end point. And once you apply that to the image here, we get the movement that we need. But we're going to have a look at it and decide if it's enough movement or too little movement, or if it's too fast or too slow. So let's go ahead and have a look by clicking on the checkbox here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And you can see based on the image that you select, we have a little bit of movement here. And with kind of the perspective in this uh, retro wave image here, I think it looks kind of cool, but I'd like it to move just a little bit faster and a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that. Click on here to highlight, go back to our Ken Burns by clicking on the cropping tool, Ken Burns. And what I'm gonna do is shrink the size of this thing just a little bit. And you wanna make sure you, you end up where you wanna be. So I think we'll still make sure we include a little bit of the horizon there. And it looks like we're centered pretty well. Then we'll click the check mark here or anywhere on the screen and it'll accept the changes. And let's have a look now. Okay, it's moving a little bit faster. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That's what I'm looking for here. Next, what I want to do is add a title to it. So we'll go to titles. And I think we'll just pick a standard one here, nothing special. We'll drag it down into the timeline. And next, we're going to stretch it to the length of the video itself. Then we'll click on the title to highlight it. We'll go into the viewer here and edit the text. I'm going to delete everything except the big text. And we'll put zooming background. Next, I'm going to customize the font to the way I want it. I don't like the outline there. And I like a different font. I like to use this one here. Avenir Next Heavy. That's my favorite. So let's have a look at it here. And you'll notice the background is moving, but of course the title is staying exactly where it is. So it kind of gives a 3D kind of perspective look and I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, to add some customizations to this, if you want it to go faster or slower, the only way you can really do it is to shorten or lengthen the actual image itself. So for example, if I go shorter, it should be a lot faster. And you'll notice it is. If I go longer, then it'll be shorter. So depending on the image in the background, whether it be kind of a 3D perspective type thing or some clouds or water or something like that, will kind of dictate to how long you want that actual uh, movement to happen, as well as what the title is and what you're doing. If it's an outro card on YouTube, you want about 15 seconds. So it kind of depends, you know, on the, the actual situation. Okay, let me put this back to where I had it. And one last thing I want to do here is add a fade to black transition. So let me go to my transitions, go to fade to black and we'll drag it down here and we'll have a look at that end here real quick. Okay. You can also decide, do you want that text to stay there or do you want it to disappear before the fade happens? And I kind of want it to disappear before the fade. So here we go. All righty. That's it. I want to thank everybody for watching as usual. Peace. Aloha. Thumbs up, ring the bell, ding dong, all that stuff. Talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.